What's up YouTube? It's Justin from Label Tech, and today I have the iPod Nano 7th generation. I'm going to go ahead and do a full review on the device. I did an unboxing of it a couple days ago. I'll go ahead and check the uh, links right at the uh, top of the screen there to check that out if you want to see what it came with. Uh, I put a couple days of use into it, checked out the device fully, put it through its paces, and I'm going to go ahead and give my feedback to this. Now, first of all, I will say I am not a big Apple fan. So any Apple fanboys, anything like that, don't get mad over anything I say. I'm not the biggest Apple fan. I will say I do like their MP3 players, um, but I'm not a big Apple fan. I do not live and breathe Apple. Um, so take that with a grain of salt. Now, first of all, the device itself, very nice little device. Um, this device will be four, excuse me, 5.4 millimeters thick with a 2.5 inch multi-touch screen. A uh, very responsive little screen, um, very quick to load, nothing, no problems there. Had absolutely no problems with the screen whatsoever. Uh, used it while working out, um, just around town, jogging, um, actually used it while skating. Not a single problem with the device, played everything flawlessly. Device itself now uses the new lightning cable, which is this right here. Much better than the old 30 pin um, that they had with the device. This is much smaller, a lot easier, nothing will, to break really on it, well not as much to break on it, and it's no longer have to go in a special way. It can actually be spun both ways without a problem. So that's very nice. Thank you Apple for finally making something a little bit easier to use. Now the device itself will have a built-in rocker. Found this to be very nice to have. Um, you can actually volume up, volume down, pause and play right from this without unlocking the screen. Um, I could see that being a problem for some people um, if they're like running or jogging, if they have it someplace where it can actually pause on accident. I didn't have a problem with it, but it might be for some people. There might be a way to lock that. I did not find any way to lock the actual rocker buttons at all on the device. Um, but that was very useful for what I saw. Um, the device itself does have Bluetooth 4.0, so you can connect your Bluetooth headset, um, Bluetooth earphones. Uh, if your vehicle has Bluetooth, it will connect to your vehicle. Uh, so you can just sit down, connect and go, play all of your songs right off of there, um, which is a really, really nice thing to have. Um, everything's going wireless nowadays and that's one less cord you have to deal with if you want to go with this set of wireless uh, earbuds. Um, speaking of earbuds, the device itself will also come with the new Apple EarPods. Um, now I found these to be a little bit different. I was never a fan of Apple's original ear uh, buds that they had and their new ones at first I did not like. Um, I started to actually get used to them though. They were a little awkward to put in at first, a little awkward to get used to, but after a while I noticed they worked better than I expected. They did stay in my ear even while skateboarding, uh, jogging, things like that. They were very light. I did not really notice they were there. Now the downfall to these that I noticed they have absolutely no sound deadening qualities to them whatsoever. I could hear noises all around me. Um, that was a downfall for me. For some people that might not, might not be bad, excuse me, um, but I did not find that to be helpful at all. But, you know, to each their own. But they're not bad, they had very good sound quality. Um, actually had some pretty decent bass for them. Uh, much better than Apple's old headphones, so I'm very glad that they changed that. Uh, pretty decent design. They were a little weird to get used to, but I did notice myself starting to like them the more and more I used them. So back onto the device. The device has a very decent or very nice um, brush finish, full glass front. Now I will say the screen itself, I don't know how well you can pick that up. Hopefully if you're in HD you can see this a little bit better. The screen itself is actually raised just a tad above don't know what the design feature of that was really a benefit for. Um, I could see that being a little bit easier to crack the screen if you drop it. There's nothing there to protect the glass. But I guess that's just the way they designed it. Nothing that I could see. It didn't snag on anything. It's not high enough of a lip to do that. So nothing there. Um, the device itself does have Nike Plus. So if you're into fitness, anything like that. Nice feature to have, it you know, can track all of your workout stuff. They have that whole 
competing thing on there. Um, so that's actually really cool. Um, now I will say I work in a retail shop that actually sells these and I've already had people coming in asking if this thing can do apps. It is not a full app supported device. It will not download apps from iTunes. Um, it cannot do anything like that. It cannot web surf, it cannot do anything. Um, that will still be strictly your iPhone and iPod Touch. Do not think that this will be able to do anything like that. It is still strictly music, movies, fitness, radio, and pictures. Now the device itself has an estimated battery life of up to 30 hours of audio playback and 3.5 hours of video playback. That audio playback seems to be a little bit of a stretch. Um, I found myself watching it as I was using it. Um, battery life seemed to drop a little bit um, within the couple hours I use it without charge. So probably not going to get the 30 hours out of it. I would probably estimate more around the 20 range on a charge because um, you are going to be checking the screen every once in a while or skipping and you have to light that screen up to skip a song. Um, also I will say I did notice that this, this does not have a built-in external speaker. Now I did not ever check out the 6th generation so I don't know if it had it or not but I will say the 5th generation did and this is actually a 5th generation in comparison for size which might be a little bit easier to see. Um, very very nice size, same, just about the same thickness but shorter but has a much nicer larger screen. Um, the 5th generation did have that external speaker, something they did away with on this, not a big deal. Um, not that many people would use it. It was pretty garbage. It wasn't that loud, but that's one thing to note. Um, overall, the device, I am very happy with it. I'm very shocked at the quality and build. Um, I guess Apple did it again on their MP3 players. It's a very nice unit. I would definitely recommend this um, to anyone looking to pick up an iPod that's not a touch. Um, would it replace my current device? Maybe not. Um, if you, you know, like your iPod that you currently have or, you, you know, something like that, I don't see upgrading from one to the next. I'm still plenty happy with my fifth gen. Um, but if you are looking to upgrade, you are looking for something a little bit newer, a little bit smaller. Um, very capable device, has a very nice size screen for the size of it. Um, for once, you can actually kind of use the screen for maybe even movies. Um, I know some of the old ones, the screen was so small, there's no point. So, very capable device, very happy with it. I would definitely check this out. It comes in a bunch of different colors. Um, red, black, some pea green, which kind of looked nasty. Um, pink, all the normal stuff that Apple normally does. So yeah, definitely check it out. I would recommend this to anybody. And that will be about it for today. Um, go ahead and uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, it's muchly appreciated. Uh, subscribe to the channel and give me some ideas and some things you'd like to see on the upcoming shows. Peace!